instruction. Um, for those of you guys that have the benefits, um, let's say you were active duty, you got off, you got your, you got med boarded out. <clears throat> um, or for those that don't know how to navigate and follow your own claims through e-benefits, um, just go to his website, ebenefits.va.gov. Again, this is just a, pre uh, a period of instructions in regards to how to file a claim. Um, I haven't broken down just because I don't want to show you guys how, you know, my login information. But uh, this is what basically what you're going to do. Hit this, close, you're acknowledging everything, hit your information, um, and then log in. Once you log in, you're going to go to manage, you're going to go to compensation. Hit on compensation claim status. You're going to go to apply. Disability compensation. Because I already started one uh, previously just uh, to get this uh, period of instructions going. Um, obviously, mine, I already started one. So I'm just going to click on continue. <laughs> There are two screens that I don't want to show just because it's my personal information, but I'll explain it to you. Um, those two screens require uh, personal information. Um, you're going to input your, your home of address, your uh, military uh, time, um, and your bank information just in case you, when you finally do get uh, service connected, um, where they could, uh, the VA put, their di di put the direct deposit into. <laughs> Um, you will also go, uh, click on the address for exam. You're going to input the address, um, that a VA is closest to you, um, that they could send you for a CMP or any evaluations. Um, the next screen obviously is going to be homeless. If you are, they provide, they help provide with shelter. Save and continue. These are going to be important dates. Um, what I want to get to is the fully developed claim. Right here, they explain the difference between the standard and the fully developed claim. Um, and after that, we're going to continue. Oh, you know what? Let me go back real quick. Um, if you guys do... I uh, want to know where it's, uh, it's read it real quick. You could guys could pause it and then after that, uh, you know, take time reading what what's going on. But I just want to go three. Um, just wanted to give uh, show my guys. I got two, three guys that uh, want to file claims on their own, um, and another one that wants to put in for an increase. So I wanted to show them real quick on how they could do it by themselves. Um, this is my. Uh, period of service have you served in combat or in a combat related operation since 9 11 2001 yes i have <clears throat> they're gonna ask your duty status i'm no longer in or in the reserves service separation is going to be the next one um where was your last place of uh separation um mine was not nazaria but you could uh, input the base that you you came off of, uh, the last place that you uh, were on active orders for. We're gonna click save and continue. Um, did you serve under another name? No. Were you a prisoner of war? Uh, military records. Um, did you receive any type of uh, separation, severance, or retired pay? No, I have not. Um, these are going to be the disabilities. This is where you're going to put in your claim that you, um, of the disability that you're going to be going for. So whether you're, uh, flat footed, you have sleep apnea or PTSD. These are all the PTSD symptoms. Um, you got your post-traumatic stress disorder. You got per personal trauma your mental, uh, combat mental disorders and then personal trauma mental disorders. Um, there's amputation, abscess, eczema, um, 
lumbar strain, lumbar sprain, um, carpal tunnel, tarpal tunnel, tarpal tunnel is for the feet. Um, you know, and or whatever claims you decide to uh, put in and go for. Make sure you have the paperwork trail. Don't just put in a claim and not have the paperwork trail. If you go standard, <clears throat> make sure that in the standard you are close to your diagnosis, you know, uh, or you are, uh, you know, uh, help or therapy. But make sure if you go standard, you have you, you start creating the paperwork trail. Um, you want to create a paperwork trail, make sure you go to all your appointments. Don't miss out on an appointment. And if you are going to miss out on an, an appointment, something important came up, make sure you cancel 20 You cancel within less time, they will see it as you missing an appointment. And they can use it against you. Um, you know, trying to get service connected, again, the way they're going to see it is you are better. You know, if you missed this appointment, it's because you really didn't need it and you don't need the help. You know, they're, they're going to try to look at, uh, use it against you. So my suggestion to you is go to all of your appointments. You know, um, if it's PTSD, if you are really fucked up, then you should be seeing the VA, you know, at least twice, between two to four times a month, you know, um, if you have the time. Um, if your disability is related to a special, select the issue from the following list. This is what the list looks like. Agent Orange, you obviously for, don't fall under that. Um, Non-PTSD, personal trauma. Um, you got your P PTSD, combat, personal trauma, uh, trauma non-combat, um, and so on. So we're going to click save and continue. Uh, let's go with, you know what? I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, um, cervical strain. There you go. Click on that. Save and continue. Um, then after that, uh, it's going to ask you about post-traumatic stress disorder. I don't want to show you guys what I'm rated for. Um, you've already... Submitted a claim for post-traumatic stress disorder and are receiving benefits. You will not be required to provide any additional. That's on me. Continue. You have the claim of unemployability. If your rating, if your injury um, does not let you work um, based on your back, based on PTSD, um, let's say your carpal tunnel is really uh, serious, um, if your injury cannot let you work, you could claim the individual unemployability. I explain later um, how getting that that um, that benefit would help you out in the long run. So again, if you're unable to hold the job because of an injury, um, or you cannot work because of an inju injury, I would suggest you put. Do you want to claim? And you put yes. I'm gonna put no. Um, have you received any medical treatment at a VA medical center or DOD? If you have, put yes. Um, I did, and I put James J. Peters, uh, VA medical center in Kingsbridge, Bronx, New York, all right? Um, I'm going to put no just so we could continue on from Any spe special circumstances? Um, do you need a caregiver, um, a spouse aid, uh, or an attendance? Uh, changes to your vehicle? Um special housing or a temporary go uh, you know apply for it all right uh, the next where they're going to require supporting documents it's taking a little while i apologize for that All right. <clears throat> Good thing I have I have a backup. All right. Um, once you go to supporting documents, uh, you're gonna upload all your information here, and then after that, uh, you're gonna um, 
you know, any evidence that you have, support, uh, just put it, upload it there. Let's go back to what I wanted to see. So uh, <clears throat> that was uh, before. I had this set up because I want to show you guys what is the final. You're going to have a final review uh, page, and it's going to allow you to check things off before you finally submit it. Before you do the final submission, though, they're going to want you want you to submit it as either a fully developed claim, FDC, or a standard claim. Again, if you don't have all your ducks in a row, if you are currently getting seen, diagnosis though but you know you're currently getting seen or you're about to get a diagnosis i would suggest go with the standard claim it does not hurt at all go with the standard claim but if you do have all your ducks in a row your paperwork trail looks awesome <clears throat> and, um you have the diagnosis have you you know you're receiving therapy and everything i would suggest going with the fully fully developed claim you'll get your uh response right away you get a compensation and pension uh appointment and it would be awesome my suggestion to guys in New York, um, I have been getting uh, better service at James J. Peters uh, VA Medical Center, Kingsbridge, Bronx, New York. Um, I, I've i heard of uh, one in Brooklyn, I believe. Um, but again, you know, this is where uh, my, you know, I've been getting better service Um at this VA hospital. So again, you know, you guys go about however you want to do it. A uh, brief period of instruction. Again, you you want to, when you're going to your appointments and everything, make sure you word yourself correctly, you know? You don't want to, uh, you know, shoot yourself in the foot and, you know, let's say something genetic, something genetic, um, like flat feet, you know? Um, the, v, the, the military accepted you with that, you know? And you could get service connections with that. There's diabetes also. If you develop diabetes while you're in um, in the military, you know, um, it could be genetic. But, again, it, you know, the military could have pushed for you, you know, like during your training or anything that you've been fed or anything that have caused you to develop diabetes while you're in the military service, you could get service connected for. Um, so, again... Try not to shoot yourself in the foot based on what, you know, don't tell them, oh, yeah, you know, it's genetic. You know, it is what it is. You, <clears throat> they accepted you with uh, fast-tracked uh, that, um, that, that diagnosis, you know, then, you know, get, get taken care of for it. Um, <clears throat> make sure you got a paperwork trail. And once you have all your evidence um, taken care of, then go for the fully developed claim. If not, you know, go with the standard claim and make sure you follow up with your appointments. All right, guys? Um, follow me on IG at Combat Vet Vlogger. Uh, hit a like to this video and uh, subscribe. All right, guys? If you have any questions, email me at CombatVetVlogger at gmail.com. All right, guys, take care.